Hello everyone, today I will show you pipe designing basics uh, using SOLIDWORKS routing. So first we start because uh, SOLIDWORKS routing must we need a assembly section. So first we go there in a assembly section. So click on assembly and uh, then OK. Uh, then uh, begin assembly, uh, go to the close and cancel command and uh, go to the apply scenes and uh, select from plain white and after that go to the routing if you, uh, it is not available on your uh, SOLIDWORKS so you can uh, download from SOLIDWORKS content from web section it must be needed uh, uh, net as well as internet connections so go to the routing and select uh, piping section piping sections uh, through you can select uh, flange and after that uh, when you open uh, a flange you can see there is a three flange slip on weld socket weld and weld neck so we uh, we are trying to make a uh, weld neck flange pipes uh, pipe spool so we select uh, from there pipe welding neck flange then uh, click and drag uh, welding neck flange but uh, you can select from there uh, weld neck flange class uh, fl uh, flange class as well as uh, it's dia okay. so according to that we can uh, easily select all that things uh, so right now uh, my requirement is uh, 600 psi 600 class flange are required right now so I, according to that i will select select so 400 600 okay 600 uh, well next 600 class and ps3 so uh, i will select from there and you can see uh, first he want uh, to save the assembly uh, before uh, initializing the uh, piping project so i will go and uh, save that project project working pipe oh i'm sorry i have to change uh, pipe design and after that pipe assembly okay now you can see uh, there is a uh, pipe routing properties are available and uh, so we uh, right now you can see there is a 3 inch pipe and schedule 40 but uh, according to that uh, uh, class uh, of flange uh, it may be not required so we uh, are trying to make uh, some custom properties for uh, our pipe spool designs because uh, that uh, flange uh, may be shoot on uh, schedule 80 so I will select from there 3 pipe 3 inch and schedule 80 okay and after that uh, I will go to the elbow sections and uh, I will select from there uh, schedule 80 pipes uh, pi uh, elbow and then I will uh, click on ok okay now you can see there is a, a, a pipe spools uh, appearing now if you want to change uh, its uh, orientation so you can uh, uh, click uh, control plus one so you can uh, view front view control 2 you can see back view control 3 you can see a uh, right view at control 4 so you can uh, see again left view and uh, control 5 this is a tap top view so you can easily make uh, uh, and uh, efficient way pipe spool so right now I'm trying to that uh, Now I will define my track uh, as per my requirement dimensions. So this is a 50 inch. This is also uh, 25 inch. This is a 20 inch. This is a 50 inch again, and this is 20 inch. 
yeah we can say 30 inch okay and after that again uh, i will uh, go to the uh, de design library and uh, i will select from there oh shit zoom and after that uh, go to the design library and uh, drag and drop in a uh, uh, flange and ps uh, 3 600 class okay then okay okay now see you are uh, make a simply pipe spool that is uh, enough for making a uh, simple types of pipe spools uh, in other other lessons we will try to make uh, some complicated pipe spool so that uh, that is very helpful for you for other engineering projects thank you so much